Hi guys, my name is Curtis. Uh, I'm the new vehicle sales manager at Volvo of Edmonton. Uh, we're here today to talk about uh, your three different options when you purchase a new vehicle. Um, two, I think most people are very familiar with. Um, you can pay cash, finance, and the third one is where there's sometimes um, some confusion just in regards to leasing, so we're going to cover that today. Um, I worked out this example on a 2017 XC60 T6, so this is using our uh, current promotions and programs and it's a very real scenario if you were to uh, buy a new XC60. Uh, these would be your, your three different options. I would say that nowadays probably 9 out of 10 of our cash buyers are doing the leasing option. Uh, the reason for that is cars are always depreciating. So um, if you were to buy, in this example, a $51,000 vehicle plus your GST, you'd be taking $54,300 out of your bank account. And all that does is go down in value for as long as you own that item. Um, so whenever you have that sum of money available to you, you want to use it towards things that appreciate in value. So use it towards investments or, um, or whatever else. Cars we know are not very good investments because they just go down in value. In the leasing scenario, now this number here is going to be a little bit different. Um, and you'll notice that you don't pay the GST on the original purchase price because in the lease, you pay GST on the payment. So whenever you put money into the lease, uh, you pay GST on that amount, not on the Purchase price where in the finance you pay all the GST up front. So essentially in a lease you're paying down from the purchase price of the car down to what Volvo predicts the value of that vehicle will be in two years, three years, or four years, or whatever the duration of the lease is. In this scenario we did a three year which is just right in the middle. Now Volvo predicts that this car after three years is going to be worth about $29,621. Now of course there's no way of that being 100% foolproof. Um, you know, Volvo wins on some and loses on others, just like every other manufacturer. I also think that there's been a big misconception with leasing where we hear a lot from our customers that, you know, leasing is for uh, business owners and it's so that you can write it off for a business and that sort of thing, which, um, yes, there, there is the ability to, uh, or it is easier sometimes for accountants to write off a leasing payment than it is a finance payment. But myself personally, I'm leasing both my cars and they're, I don't have a business, but just from the simple fact of this example where you can drive a newer vehicle for a lower monthly payment so you can, it's a little bit more affordable, that's a, that's a very good positive. What they always say is that the fifth year of the finance is the most expensive. And the reason why is um, in your fifth year that's when you've come off manufacturer's warranty. So your manufacturer's warranty is four years up to 80,000 kilometers. And maintenance costs in your fifth year now start becoming more expensive. So you're now making a higher monthly payment and you're also paying things like tires, um, oftentimes brakes are now you know around 80,000 kilometers. Those are things that we need to repair or replace. Um, so now you're still making payments on the car, but you're also spending more money on maintaining that car. So uh, this is often the most expensive time to, or to own a vehicle in, in a finance is at that fifth year, which can be avoided by doing the lease. Uh, of course, if you do have any more questions, please feel free to contact us. My name again is Curtis Faulkner. I'm the new vehicle sales manager at Volvo of Edmonton.